Want to learn to do oriental brush paintings? Hi, I'm Darlene Kaplan, international award-winning artist, uh, instructor, owner, CEO of Softbrush Studio. Uh, we have now gone uh, virtual. Uh, let's follow the little dancing brush and get started to painting your oriental brush painting. First, we're going to start out with the leaves. Uh, the leaves are done in a sequence of three different strokes. The first stroke is a slanted stroke. Then you add on to the stroke number two, then stroke number three, and then you put them all together. So I will show you the stroke number one. And when you pick your paper up, you've got a smooth side and a rough side. And you can lay it down, rub your hand over it, rub your hand on this side. The side that is smooth is the side that you will paint on. So that's just a, something that a lot of people will ask and they don't really know. So it's always a smooth side of paint. So I'm going to start with a horsehair brush. It's going to be a medium horsehair, medium in size. Horsehair are really strong. I'm going to load my brush with a light green that I've mixed up, a blue and, and uh, yellow, a dark green, and one that's a mixture of dark and light. So I'm going to go into clean my brush first with water. Go into the light, light green. Push that about halfway into your brush, no more than half. Then I'm going to go into this medium color. Push that half of the half so it's a fourth. And then this is going to be an eighth. Each one is a half. We'll move all the way down to an eighth. And then flat on the end of my brush. So I want to keep the brush sideways, kind of like a windshield wiper. And the dark color is going to be on the end of the brush. This part right here is reserved for water. So what I'm going to do is lay my brush sideways, stroke number one, and pull. And just ease up. And I can repeat that over here again, just for practice purposes. And ease up. And you can see I'm running out of, out of color, out of ink, or out of color, really. And I'm going to reload a little bit, make one more stroke here. And ease up. So that's stroke number one. Coming down, straight down. Now stroke number two attaches to number one, and it goes slightly out to the side. So stroke number two, I will take the three that I did and I'm just going to practice on these. Stroke number two will go from here and it will go slightly out and down. Stroke number two, same thing here, slightly out and down. And here, slightly out and down. Now stroke number three, it's going to attach itself to stroke number two. And it's going to go out to the side. It's going to be a smaller stroke. So start on the edge of your brush and pull out. It's kind of a sideways, looking at the leaf sideways. And number three. Now, right now, it doesn't look like a leaf at all. But once you get the, the veins in, it's going to look like a leaf. And the veins, or you make a jiggle with your brush, pull it out to the side, out to the side, down the center, this side, alternating sides, and this gets three strokes right here on this side. So to show you what that's going to look like, go into the dark on the tip end of your brush. I'm just going to use the same brush. Jiggle here, it may not show because this is dark 
and it may not show that much, but that's okay. And down, now out to the side, out to the side. Now this one will come out. Now the third one. And you can see you can make your stroke a little bigger if it gets too squared off or if it gets too small. And the same thing here, this one doesn't get that much. Now these will show more because they're lighter in color. So start one here, pull down. and the third one's in the center. And just to practice. This one is a little square right here on the edge. I can go out over that mark a little bit, make it a little bit more rounded. So that's your leaf, that direction. Now I've got a second leaf going another direction, so different angle on the same leaf. So for that leaf, what we'll do is you're going to go out to the side and then down, and then out to the side again. And I'm going to get a little ink going here. The ink dries up quickly. The water dries up on your colors. You have to constantly keep them wet. Okay, so I'm going to go into my greens again, and a little black. Dry it off if your paper doesn't have much glue on it. Now, the first stroke on this one is the top, and then the second stroke is in the middle, and the third stroke is over here on this side. So this stroke gets out and then down. Then the second stroke, the middle stroke, is going to come down. It's going to change a little bit of, of an angle but it's going to bump into that one a little bit. And it's going to come down a little bit more here. And this one is just going to kind of come out to the side. And it's going to be a little bit bigger than the other edge because you're looking more, a little bigger than this one, because you're looking more at it front way front view rather than a total side view. So go into this while it's still wet. A little bit too wet. And the second one, same thing. So last week we did the morning glory flowers. And this week, part two, we're going to be doing the leaves and the vines and put it all together so we'll have a complete painting. So that's how you use your leaves, make your leaves. Now you'll also have the vines. And in my classes, what I do is I do all this homework for you. And I this is a mailer. I mail out the shape of the leaves and then I will mail out the rest of it, the running stroke and the bamboo that we're going to use as a trellis. And then we'll go through and practice each one of these strokes and then we'll put it together. Last week we did all of our flowers and this week now we're going to complete, we're going to put it together. So for the, the running stroke, and all it is is you just take your brush and you just play with it. You just you just run with your 
with your brush, right on the tip end of your brush. If you lay it down flat, you're gonna get a, a wide stroke. If you want a narrow stroke, stay right on the tip. If the edge gets down a little bit too much, like this, you're gonna get a wider stroke here. So whenever it gets too wide, that's what happens. You have to bring it back up on the tippy toes. So your brush will tell you what you're doing wrong if you know how to listen. So for here, you just start doing your running stroke. And see right there, got a little sideways on that, press down a little bit too hard. This looks like an easy stroke, but it's hard to do because if you press down a little too hard at all, you're gonna get you're gonna get a wide section where you really don't want to. So that's that's an easy stroke to do. It's kind of like doodling with a pen or something. Now for the bamboo part, we're not gonna actually make it look like bamboo. We're not gonna go to all the details because it's a, it's in the background, it's a trellis. We don't want it to be that obvious. So I'm just gonna use the color that I've got in my brush. And what you do there is you kind of uh, bring the brush. It's more of a tilt. Windshield wiper, when you did this, was straight across this way, horizontal. This one, the hair's more toward me and the handle is back a little bit. So you start at the edge, lay your brush down, and whoops, and pull and stop. Pull and stop. Pull. And see how I'm running out of water. As you come down, you'll start to run out of water. And that's that's what you want it to do. So that's your little bamboo stroke using, think of it as a dead bamboo it's just been cut and it's there's no green life to it at all and we'll put little sections in those just to make it look more like a bamboo and that is just kind of like a little s sideways that's all that is and keep space in between the bamboo and then that will close them up close them together now let's go back to the painting that we did, this is one that I have prepared. Um, it's not finished. I don't have the centers in yet. Let me get the camera to focus. It focuses on my hand instead of the work. There we go. It's weird. Okay, so where I would put my brush, I'm gonna lift this camera up a little bit so you'll get a, a more of a overall view of the piece. It's a small piece of paper, but I want you to be able to see it. So this is my little, very small little painting. So where do I wanna put my, my leaves? I don't wanna put anything right in the dead center. You always think about thirds. And always try to avoid putting something bullseye, like this one right here, I wouldn't have wanted to put it right here in the dead center. Um, that doesn't mean that center is going to be left open by any means, it's not. But it just means you don't put your focal point right there in the dead center. Not that that's got anything to do with your leaf at, the, at this time, but just so you know. Okay, so I'm going to load my brush with my green and then black at the end. So these are my little colors that I, I was using earlier. Now, my first leaf, uh, I wanted to kind of go this angle here. So I'm gonna start, uh, I'll change my mind. It's gonna go this way. So I'm gonna start here and stop. Now this one, remember, goes into the into the leaf and it's going to come out and it's going to stop. And then this one is just going to come out like so. So that's my first leaf. Um, set, I'll do two or three of these and then I'll go back and put the veins in. Um, 
maybe I want one coming down this direction. Um, this one I'll do the other leaf. Now that's two. Uh, basically, you think about how many leaves you want. Uh, maybe one more. Um, maybe over here on this empty side. These decisions are tough. Um, that one go in that direction. Okay, now I'm going to go back and I'm going to go into the, using a small little hard horsehair brush, I'm going to go into dark ink and I want it to dry. I'm drawing it from this area here because back in the point that's where your water collects, so that's where your water should be. Now when I put the veins in, what I do is I start with the first leaf that I did first. So this one is going to be the first one for the veins. And the ink is not quite dark enough. So I'm gonna grind it just a little bit longer. Okay, did she do it? And sometimes when you get it dry, the ink doesn't come out of your brush either. Now to the side. Right, got it. And up and here. Now this one. This leaf I did second, so I'm going to do it next. They start to take on a leaf shape once you get these veins in. Until then, it doesn't look like a lot. There's those two. Add little black dots around if you'd like, little happy dots. Okay, so there's my leads. Now, using your imagination, what you have to do is kind of have a game plan in your head, and then you just kind of let it go from there. And, um, sort of let it play out. It changes. When you have something planned and you want it to go one way, you'll change your mind. Okay, so now I'm going to get a little bit of sienna out. Little sienna is a dirt color. It's a little orangey brown color. It's a little too, this particular one, it, you know, the colors, this is dirt. So it, it changes in value depending on how strong the, the powder is. So I'm going to mix it a little bit with black. And I'm in a dirty dish and, you know, these, I'm not, 
I don't really care if it's a little dirty or not, because when you see the bed bamboo, you'll see green in it and all other colors as well. So now, in order to make this a trellis, you have to kind of look at your composition and think about where you want it to be. So where the weight is, there's more weight on this side than this side. Um, if I go from one angle to the other, you always want to go from one corner to the other corner if it's if it's kind of um, heavy on that side. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go from this side over here to this side. So starting at the top, open the hairs on your brush and you're going to push down with the tip end of your hairs down just a little bit like so. So right in here, push, lift up. And all the way down. Now, one is a little lonely. So let's give it a partner. So where, what I don't want to do is make railroad tracks. And I also don't want to line this up with another uh, bamboo over here and they all line up in the same place. I want to stagger those or alternate them. So I'm going to come in way over here on this point or maybe I want it on this side. I'm going to put it on this side. So I'm going to come into wider at the top. And I don't want to go to there. And it's just going to kind of run into that one at the bottom to where it just kind of crosses over. But you also see it's behind, so it's a lot lighter than the one in front. Now what I'm going to do is go to my little small brush, and I'm going to go into a little bit of black or this dark brown, and I'm going to close these off with sideways S, and this just kind of gives it the bamboo look. It's I thought you don't see. Okay. Now I'm going to get my brush a little bit wetter on the top because I want these to be lighter in color. I don't want them to be quite that dark. Um, I'll put one here. And it barely shows. Put one there. This one will be here. And I'll put them there just for fun. Now I've got to connect all of these and they have to come from somewhere. So where are they going to come from? And you can see the bamboo curves. It's okay, but each time it curves, it's going to curve from a joint. Not You don't want this part to be crooked, the bamboo, because it's very sturdy, it's very strong. So when it curves, it curves from the joints, from one joint to the other. Curves at the joints. Okay. Those little things like that drive me crazy. Now, I'm going to go with my little small detail brush that I was using. It's not a detail brush. It's, it's just a little hard horsehair brush. I'm going to go into some black the sienna and I'm going to mix a little bit of this dirty green in because now I want the vines to have kind of a like a woody brownish color. I don't want them to be black. Okay so now I've got to figure out where I'm going to come from. I'm going to come from down here somewhere. Um, so I want to start when you do the, the vines 
you start about a little ways down and you go backwards and then you come back and come this way. So if I start here, I'm going to go back into the outside the paper and then I'll pick up and go forward again. So from here, and I can have two or three different little binds. I don't have to just have one. Now, when these come down through uh, and they curl up anything, what it does to make it curl, you'll go over, under, over, under, over, and under. So this one, I'll stick with this main one first. It's going to go over. This is not as important as this one. It's going to go over that one in the background. Now it's going to come under this big one in front and it's going to come out. Now it's going over and I'm going to stick with just this one. I'm going to come under and over. It's going to keep going on up through there. Now this little guy, I can, uh, where do I want him to go? Uh, it's going to kind of come down a little bit. It's going to come under and over that one. And that's just going to be a little one. Now, these are going to need to join something. So I'm going to have a dark little something here coming down. This one can join there. And when they join, this needs to be a little thicker. I'm going to loop that one over and make it join from underneath just to give it a little bit of, of uh, different kind of motion. This one, I'm going to have him join right there. And then I've got these ones in the back. I've got one back here somewhere, and I don't have to show where they all join anyway. It gets too busy if you do. And you can add a few little leaves as you go. Those things do have little leaves on them. You can have some space for buds. And you notice you don't worry about where these things attach your leaves. You don't have to show it because they're from the back side. And it doesn't really even show. So don't worry about stuff that, that is not important. I'm going to indicate a few little crosses here. We'll cross over. And just a few here. And I don't want to fill in all the spaces. I'm going to leave a lot of, lot of space out, leave a lot of uh, details and to your imagination. Your mind's eye will fill in all the blanks on all this. So don't give too much information. Dots and dashes are good. And that basically is about what I would do with your, with your vines. So if you like what you see, subscribe to my uh, channel and like. And I hope you enjoyed. And tell your friends about me and join me on Zoom. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.